Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, so, I know it's been <laughs> a little bit of a, uh, well, it's been a hot minute since my last video. Um, so thanks so much for, for bearing with me. Um, again, it's been a busy week in the shop, so I'm finally, finally sitting down to do some crafting today. So I thought, maybe you'd like to join me. So, um, I am going to be working on the second project share for Panda Hall Selected today. So for those of you who don't know, or you missed my unboxing video, um, I'm currently doing a little partnership with Panda Hall Selected, which is an e-commerce website. Um, it sells all kinds of different crafty things, um, including stuff that we junk journalers and scrapbookers can use. Um, so uh, I've got the unboxing video and part one linked down below in case you did miss them. So this is the uh, second project and it's the final project that I'm going to be doing for this partnership. Um, so if you remember part one, or uh, I suppose it's a part one, it's project share one, part one, whatever you want to call it, were these um, faux specimen cards that I was using with, um, I used the, the washi tapes that I got from Panda Hall Selected and these super cute, hopefully you can see those okay, leaf charms. Um, the lighting is not fabulous today so maybe if I bring that over a bit that might be a bit better. Um, it's dark wintry <laughs> December day today. Um, so yeah I made all these in part one um, and yeah they're just faux specimen cards using the washi tapes, some Tim Holtz um, and they're actually using playing cards um, and I thought they turned out really super cool. So when I was making them I told you to um, if you were going to craft along keep the middles because I did have a plan for what we're going to do with those so that's what we're doing today so I've not made a prototype um this is really it's an idea in my head that I hope will pan out so here's what I want to make I want to make a journal tag bookmark um and so the way that I vision it is having either layered tags or just one tag it depends how how it looks together but I want to use some journal tags uh, from this kit which I'll talk about in a second um, and coming off of it, coming off of the top, um, I want to have um, some sort of antique looking chain and then coming off of this, if this is long enough hopefully, um, a couple of leaf charms and that will be the bit that sort of like hangs outside of the book I guess. Um, so that's what I want to make and um, the idea for the middles of the playing cards is I was wondering could we like punch some shapes out of them. Um, and have that as like some kind of decoration. So that's, as I say, it's just an idea in my head. So um, it will either it either will or won't pan out. Um, we'll just see what happens today, shall we? Um, so this is the kit that I'm using at the moment. So this is, um, it's a kit um, by Nanine from Collage Type, who you've probably heard me mention many, many times. Um, she has this kit in her Etsy shop. Again, it's linked below, um, called Cottage Rose. And it's a really beautiful kit, um, so I'm going to be using these tags from it. Um, and it's really her vintage grungy style, but with feminine pinks and reds um, thrown in to, to go with it, which is really very up my street. So these are the tags that I'm going to be trying to, to use. Um, and there's really loads of different things. Um, I've got some of this stuff printed out. So you can see it's all got the grungy vintage kind of look, but mixed in with reds and pinks and beautiful flowers and birds and you know all of this scripty type writing and it's actually something I won't go through the whole kit because it is big um, but this is the kit that I'm using at the moment um, for really for a few different projects um, and then I'm hoping to do a full journal with it so you'll probably see me you know bring out this kit oh that's a <laughs> that's obviously a test test print which went horribly wrong um, but I'm didn't want to throw it because I can make a tag out of that so yeah ignore that <laughs> um, and then these aren't they gorgeous these are some of the journal cards um, or the journal cards and I printed them onto linen effect paper and the pinks have just come out so so super vibrant I hope the camera is picking that up enough um, and the kit also has all of these like collage type sheets which are really really handy um, so yeah that's just um and then obviously there's various elements and I realized I wasn't going to show you the whole thing, and I am, aren't I? So we've got some tags and bits and pieces and embellishments and things. So yeah, it's a massive kit, and um, you'll see it, you know, multiple times, I'm sure, over the next, um, probably over the next month or two, to be honest. But um, let's get on with it anyway. So, <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so I'm going to start by, I'm going to cut out the tags and I'm going to back them with some thick cardstock. Um, and I want it to be light enough that you can write on it. So I've got this one, um, which is, it's got butterflies and stripes on it. But it is light enough, I think, to make the odd note here and there. Um, and equally the back, maybe, but I think I prefer the butterflies. Um, and I do have this one, but I think it might be too pale of a pink. Um, I think it's a bit too pale for the kit, so I think I'm going to go with this one. So I'm just going to uh, cut these out, back them onto the um, butterfly scrapbook paper, um, and then I'll be back for the next step. So I'm not going to you know, make you watch me glue and stick, um, that would be really boring. <laughs> so um, I, will, I will do that, um, and then I'll come back and show you what I've got. Okay, so I've got all the tags um, cut out and backed. There's that um, butterfly paper, which you can just make out the butterflies here and there. Um, so it is just, yeah, perfect for writing on. Now, um, I popped the light on, because, the main light, um, because I was really struggling to see. So if you see shadows, then yeah, really sorry about that. It's just because it's so dark today. And it's the morning. It's like 10 in the morning. Anyway, um, so I've got those cut out. Now, what I want to do is I'm thinking, um, rather than just have one tag as the bookmark, I'm wondering whether it would look cool to have them, you know, almost layered up um in some way so that if you were to have them um what do i want on the front maybe this one um you can kind of see like you know should i have them the same size and then they sort of like you know you can move between them you know they'll each be on eyelets and jump rings or should i have this one slightly smaller so that you can kind of see that, that there's another tag underneath and I'm kind of leaning towards the idea of cutting it down, to be honest. Um, and have this one at the front, because I just adore those birds. Aren't they lovely? Um, you've probably seen these birds in her birds kit that I used, um, I don't know, it was a few months ago now. Um, and uh, yeah, beautiful birds are in this kit as well. So I wonder, um, so if I chop it down so that it kind of fits within this tag. Um, and then I'm trying to decide whether to use all three or whether that's a bit too bulky. Because um, they're on thick, it's quite thick um, scrapbook paper, um, and I printed onto card, so it's quite thick. So I think three is probably overkill. Um, so I'll put that to one side, use that for something else, and I'll stick with these. And especially as they're, they're both kind of pinky as well, I think. So um, I think I'm going to do that. So I want to cut this one down to be, I don't know half a centimetre so you can kind of see a border like that as well as something like that or maybe a bit smaller than that okay I'm going to cut that down um, now I'm going to use my if I can reach it I dropped it on the floor <laughs> I'm going to use my two sex what I was trying to say is I'm going to use my trimmer um, just so that I can get nice straight edges I don't trust myself so um, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it is that so if I were to take off a bit maybe a bit more maybe a tad more I don't want to lose too much of the bird's tail and yes I know I'm using my terrible trimmer again <laughs> um, bear with me there we go so if we had that and then just wondering if that's enough or I think I want to cut the other side as well I don't want to lose this bird no I don't want to do that because I will lose this little bird's head um, and I wouldn't want to do that so if I do if I have it like this you can just about see the other tag underneath and then I think uh, I'm going to chop from the top. I don't want to lose the stamp, but at the same time, I'd m I don't want to lose the birds either, so one of them has got to go. Um, so I'm just trying to think about how much I want to to lose. So I kind of want it like this. See? Oh, 
Sorry about that. The postman came and my dog goes absolutely ballistic when um, when, he, when he when he when the doorbell goes. Um, so just whilst I had you on pause, what I've done is I've um, cut this tag down um, at the top. So I did unfortunately have to lose the um, the stamp detail, but that's okay because we're going to add um, something else to the top. Um, and I have inked around both of them, and obviously I've cut this one into a tag shape to match the other. So, depending on where they kind of hang, um, my th thinking was it kind of will look like that. So you can see that there is another tag underneath. And then ob obviously they'll be on jump rings and you can turn them over and write on the back. So, um, thinking about the playing card middles. So I have got some of these. So this is obviously from the first project that I did for Panda Hall Selected where I was using the washi tapes on playing cards to make the specimen cards. That was a mouthful. Um, and I'm wondering whether, because we have, it's almost like a layered tag. Oh, I think my dog's barking again. No, nope, he stopped. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear him. Oh, he does like to bark. Um, so yeah, I'm wondering whether to have it's almost like a layered tag and this be on a little eyelet and it kind of like hang down as a decoration but if I'm gonna do that I feel like it needs something in the middle um, because it's I love the gold um, from this one um, and I went with this one just because of the whole matching it with the pinks I could have used these absolutely um, but I just think for this um, I think for this I want I want the pink, so I'm going to to go with this one. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. So it'd be like this layered tag, um, and then obviously we need to. Oh, I've already covered the back of this one. I must have done that off camera. <laughs> I've forgotten what I've done. Um, so I covered um, the playing card back with some tea dyed paper, and then I inked around it, um, just because I was thinking you could also write a little note on there as well. Um, so yeah, that's what I did too. So yeah, essentially you have a mini tag and two larger tags to write on as your bookmark. So that's kind of what I want to go with. So I need to pop some eyelets in. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm going to use my cropper dial for the two big ones and then I'll use the silent setter for the mini one. If you have watched my channel before, you know my problem with getting small eyelets here in the UK. I just can't seem to get them. So um, I think I'm going to go with like a vintagey kind of gold to match the leaf charms and the, um, are they the same colour? I think so. Uh, yeah, to match the, the charms and the chain that I've got is like an antique kind of, antique gold I think they call it. Um, so I'm going to punch my hole and I'm just eyeballing it. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to go in not too far from the top, like that, because my, my jump rings are not huge. So I don't want to, yeah, I want them to be able to, to fix. Now, sensible Justine would make sure that I've got these in the same, in the right place. So thinking about it. As I say, I don't have a prototype, so I'm making it up on the spot. Um, so I'm thinking, I would love it if you could have the border the whole way around. The only problem is, I don't think my jump ring is big enough. So I think I will have to have the tags like that, which is okay. And in that case, I want to make sure, so I'm just putting a, a marking. I want to make sure that I've got the um, the holes in the same place, so I'll just put a mark just like that, so I know where to put my hole in this one. So hopefully, be something like that. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm not I'm not so worried about that. I just want it to be, you know. Yeah, that's that's all right. There you go. So um, put my eyelets in. Um, oops. Okay. Doesn't want to. Gosh, doesn't want to squeeze today. Hmm. Yep. Oh dear. 
What have I done? <laughs> oh no, I put it the wrong way round. Two secs. The wally that I am, I tried to put my eyelet in the wrong way round. <laughs> so yeah, one of those videos, say as I do, don't do as I do, or whatever the saying is. So I'm going to have to, I think I've ruined that eyelet. Um, so let me find another one and let's try again. These things happen. No big deal. I still have my tag. It is intact. I just had to wrestle with the crocodile for, for a bit. I did feel like it felt weird. So if it feels weird, that's probably trying to tell you something. So I've got it the right way around this time. You can tell I'm still new to, to using this thing, really. There we go. But there we are. That's good enough for me. <laughs> right. Right way around this time. Come on, Justine. Wake up. Um, I'm not a morning person. You probably... I have gathered, I have gathered that, I'll just make that a bit, there we go, yep, yeah. wonderful, so that bit is done, thankfully, um, so let's get this thing out of my sight, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, okay, um, and then round two, I need uh, my silent setter for this little mini one, um, now, unfortunately, I don't have any, um, I don't have any, like, antique -y type of eyelets. These are all, you know, they're, like, brightly coloured ones. Um, so I think, I don't think I even have pink. So I don't know what I'm going to use, but we'll see. Um, yes, this is going to hang from a jump ring. So you've probably seen me do this a lot of times. Um, I'm just trying very hard to use my silent setter for these small eyelets and it's just because it's a tag shape um, and I realized I never actually told you how I got the tag shape um, you've probably guessed it is a, a, a tag punch that I've got but you could use um, you, if, you, if you've got a die cut machine you could use that um, or you could do other shapes. You don't have to do a tag shape. You could do circles, um, leaves, I don't know, anything that you you fancy. Um, because at the end of the day, this is mainly just for decoration. I'm just going to see if I need to um, unclog my... Hmm, there is everything. I need to unclog my... Um, punchy thing today. Oh dear me. Bear with me you guys. <laughs> okay, let's try that. I just don't think it was being sharp enough. I'm not pushing hard enough. I see any trouble with the silent setter is it does take some time, but I think I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> Got it. There we go, that'll do. Not quite in the middle, but uh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Okay, check I'm even still filming. Yes. Right, um, what colour? What colour? Um, I've got some like ready, red kind of colour, which I suppose is a little bit pinky. Let's have a little look. There's some red in there. It's like um, dark red might work yeah it's a shame it's whoop, not going to be in the middle but I'm not too worried about that so yeah it's a little bit off and um, maybe that one or I just go with brown which I keep using um, but that's okay let's see can't get my fingers in there we go what do we think brown I suppose it's less in your face what do you, this is when you really wish that you had like um what do you think brown maybe or we go with the red i think i'll go with the brown <laughs> hopefully you agree uh if not don't tell me <laughs> no i'm totally kidding you can absolutely tell me okay right let's get this closed up then this will be the, the quicker bit all right I went a bit far down on that one, but that's okay. So there we go. Right, let's get this out of the way. Fabulous. So really, this is a quick 
um, a quick, uh, you know, mini project, I suppose. Um, but, you know, sometimes it helps if you've got the right tools. So, yeah, in terms of getting that tag shape, um, I just use my tag punch. Um, but you could do circles. Um, this is using my um, circle punch that I normally use. I've got this one. Um, and then I did also do a bigger circle, and it's camouflaged using my bigger circle. So you could do that, um, you know, you could use your die cut machine, whatever you've got. Um, and we're going to go sort of, I suppose, punch out some of the stuff of those later. So maybe you'll get some ideas. Right, we have this. Fabulous. So I'm not going to stitch around anything today. Um, you could do if you want. Um, I don't feel like it. So I think I'm just going to um, stick with these. So we need some jump rings. Um, and again, I'm using the same jump rings. They're sort of um, an, in an antique gold. I don't know if you can... Probably can't really see the colour, but it's an antique gold. Um, and these just came off of some old jewellery. Um, so I'm going to slip one of these through each tag. And they are a bit tricky to open. So I might need to go and run and pinch my husband's pliers again. Two secs. Okay, so I've got each of my um, jump rings on the tags um, and I'm thinking I'm going to hang them from each other. So I'm going to open up this tiny little tag one. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> and I'm going to thread it through the, uh, the, the top tag um, like that. I'm hoping this will oops, work okay. Yeah, okay. Um and then I'm gonna thread this this um this one's jump ring through the rose jump ring. So let's open up this one. Now it will add, you know, some bulk to your your journal or your, your book. Um it will. Um so you might decide that this isn't this isn't right for you. Um but we'll see see how it goes once we're all finished um, okay. and what I should have said at the beginning is um, when you're deciding what backing paper to use um, try to go for a um, you know a good quality thick cardstock um, the only reason I say that is because you don't want um, we're going to add charms and things to the chain and you don't want gravity to take hold and then start you know pulling your journal tag with the charms so, you know, this is quite, um, not I wouldn't call it weighty, but there is, you know, a little bit of weight there to, um, you know, to, to counter the charms. So, that is how we're looking. Kind of cool. Um, so, you can, you know, lift them up like this um, and do your journaling on each tag. Um, and, of course, you could do it that way as well if you wanted. Um, so, that's kind of what I was thinking for that. So, that's awesome. So... Now we need some chain. Now again, um, I've got this off of some um, some old broken jewellery. Um, I don't know how long to do the chain. And truth be told, this is the only bit of antique gold chain I actually have. So it's going to have to do. But I'm thinking, and it's already got some jump rings on as well. But I'm thinking that should be enough just for a few charms. Um, I don't want to go overboard. I think maybe three is enough um, and there's dip so again I got these from Panda Hall Selected and um, again you've seen these <laughs> a few times probably um, now I keep raving about them because I love them um, but there are different sizes in here and different weights so there are quite some chunky ones and I think perhaps these might be a little bit too chunky and heavy for this particular idea so I've got these oops these little leaves See what I'm doing? Just about. Um, and I've got to make a choice <laughs> over how I want to go. And I want them sort of each side. So I'm going to do go like this, maybe. Um, so if we think this jump ring will be attached to the tag. So we want the heaviest one probably on the bottom. And then we can go something like that. 
or maybe if I go with this one in the middle um, and then we have another small one like that maybe I feel like it's missing something here that's quite a big space um, what else have we got in here that's a nice shape you see that it's quite a nice shape um, I'm thinking about this one, I keep talking about the veins, it's really cool and because it's quite, there's some, um, oh, sorry, it's a little bit on the bulky side, it's not flat, so I'm kind of thinking like for something like this it would work okay because it's going to be on the outside of the book, whereas most of these are nice and flat, um, so they would be good for, you know, tags and stuff inside. Um, but I don't know if it looks a bit strange that that one is bulky and these are flat. So, I might have talked myself out of that one. <laughs> I quite like this one. Um, it kind of looks like a feather, to be honest. Um, but I kind of like that. I think more than using this one for this. So. Oh, Justine, make a decision. <laughs> Um, again, I've pre I'm presented with too much choice. Um, that's kind of cool. I like that one as well. And that's nice and light. So what if we had this one at the bottom, this one here, and that one, no, nope. mm, that one. Again, it still feels like it's missing something. Um, I could use another small one perhaps, but no, it's not right either. What's this one? What do you think? Maybe something like that? Um, or we get another one of these, maybe. Yeah, I think that would probably be make more sense. Okay, so I've got that. Do I have enough jump rings? I think the answer will be no. Um, I don't have... Hmm, I'm wondering... So these already have loops on them. I'm wondering if the chain, is it just chain or are these jump rings? They might actually be jump rings themselves. So maybe we can try that. So if I start at the end. I don't know how well these will open so we'll just see what happens. Oops. Concentration. There we go. It's opened. It's a good start. Try and pop it through. There we go. No, losing it. Trust me to do uh, try and do something really fiddly on camera. <laughs> so I'm sorry if I'm pulling it towards me and you can't see a thing. Let me just concentrate for a second. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, yeah, I'm just using chain that came off of some old jewellery. Um, you would find this a lot easier, I'm sure, um, if you were using bigger jump rings and also jump rings designed to craft with. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I've got this broken jewellery and I figure at least I'm able to give it a purpose again. I just... Woo, hopefully, we'll be able to close that okay without um, messing up the jump ring. I think we're nearly there. There. Okay, now I would sit here and do all of these with you but I think that would be painful to watch so I'm just going to run through and attach all of my leaf charms so I'll be back in two secs. All right, here we go. So I've got all my leaf charms on and um, so uh, the smaller charms, um, this one and these two little ones, I could put straight onto the chain. These two bigger ones, um, they had a sort of a, a thicker 
loop. So I've had to attach them to extra jump rings, uh, again in antique gold. So I've got all those on now. Um, so let's uh, see how we look um, on the tag. And as I say, <laughs> this was a complete experiment. Now what I'm trying to decide is whether I should use the chain had two jump rings on it already, but I have a feeling one jump ring is going to be enough because, or is it? It's already it's going to be attached to a jump ring here, so it'll be three jump rings. Um, yeah, we'll go with three because I think two would look a bit strange. Um, so we'll stick it with three and then that way I can just <laughs> open and close one jump ring and not worry about it. So let me just close this one. Just nearly there. I hope this works. <laughs> Are you on tender hooks? Will it work? Will it? Won't it? But, you know, you just got to try these things. And as I say, I had the idea in my head and just wanted to give it a go. See what happens. So thanks very much for joining me on this, this here little experiment. I can't seem to, whoops. I can't seem to close this final jump ring up. Um, my hands don't seem to want to work properly today. I suspect it will be the cold, won't it? I've seen some people crafting in gloves, like fingerless gloves, and I, I wonder whether that might be a good idea. But then I just worry the gloves might get in the way. Anyway, I think we're almost there. Just... As I say, these jump rings, um, I don't think they're necessarily. Ooh, I don't think they're necessarily meant for crafting, because um, they are just, um, you know, jewelry ones. Um, but I think that's on, so I'm not going to fuss about too much with that. Right. So <laughs> that is what we have. So we have got our leaves and. That one's a bit, a bit tied up. I'll show you how it looks in the book in a minute. I have a feeling it'll <laughs> look much better in the book. Um, so we have got our mini tag, our medium tag and our larger tag. All can be written on and journaled on on the back. Um, and the chain part is the bookmark part. So let's grab our... Where is it? Let's just grab my journal. So this is my ideas journal, um, which I actually bought off of Etsy. Um, I think the shop was called Two Charlie Chicks. So um, every so often I will um, come along in here and pop in ideas, either ideas I've come up with or maybe I've followed a tutorial. Stuff that I liked enough to want to keep doing again and again kind of thing. So if I... I'll just move the uh, <laughs> move my tassel out of the way so you can see my bookmark. So there we are. We're inside the journal, and I do need to close up that ring a little bit more. But the jump rings. Can you see this? Okay. I'm not sure if the angle is very good. But the jump rings are on the outside of the book, like that, just like that, and the chain is hanging down. And if you were also looking for some, like you know, journal jewelry the chain kind of helps with that because obviously depending on how long you do the chain it can you know go down the spine and it can go down the front down the back um, you know it's sort of this this chainy thing out of the top so whether I would make these again I'm unsure because it was a little bit fiddly um, I think it would be better with um, if I had better tools and better jump rings um, I'll bear that in mind for next time but I like the idea. I like the idea of a bookmark that is a journal tag at the same time. So, you know, um, in terms of experiments go, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. But I do need to, oops, 
close up this jump ring just a little bit more because it was um you know I could see the gap I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to lose all my all my hard work and um, so let me just close that up um it's this one isn't it as I say this would be a lot quicker with um you know easier easier to open jump rings so there we go but no I I'm pretty happy with that um, and I don't think it needs, oh, I was going to say about this, um, I was part of saying I don't think it needs anything else, like any decoration or anything, because, um, you know, I really like the tags from the kit, um, just got a bit of glue, um, but I'm wondering whether I should put a fussy cut on my mini tag, um, so I need some fussy cuts. Um, which I have a feeling are downstairs, so I'm going to have to hit pause again, I'm so sorry. So I settled on a Tracy Fox label and a little butterfly, um, just to pop against that pink. And I do feel like that does finish it off quite nicely. Um, so there you go, I'm finished. <laughs> it was a little bit bitty again, I'm so sorry about that. Um, I guess this is why people make prototypes, but you know what? You've seen me make this you know in between pausing um as is just completely my idea straight down onto paper um <laughs> you know essentially so i really hope you like it um if you would like you know if you're going to give this a go i would love to know um you know i would uh, yeah i would love to know i always love to know if you're gonna try something out um so yeah i think that will look really cool as a bookmark um so once again just as a reminder once we're in there we'll have this and I think yeah if the jump rings you know try to make it so that the jump rings are hanging out of the book and then you won't mark your pages or anything and then the chain can just hang down kind of cool right I hope I hope you like it um I had fun making it even if it was a little bit um a little bit choppy with um oh losing my fussy cuts and not being able to do the jump rings but anyway um yeah I'm really happy with how that's turned out and of course um you can you know, right on each, right on each tag, which I liked the idea of, you know, if you're w working your way through your book or through your journal, making notes as you go, I thought that would kind of be, kind of be fun. So there you go. <laughs> My junk journal tag bookmark thing. Uh, I have to come up with a name for it. So there we go. Um, so I'm going to hit pause because I have some things to show you. Um, now, this is for those of you who are still sticking with me at this point of the video. If you are, hello, thanks so much. Um, th this this next part is for you guys, so um, I'll be back in two secs. I'm back. Um, I'm just going to move the camera slightly. Oops, sorry about all the shaking. Um, just to try and fit them all in. So um, I, um, I'm part of the Facebook group Junk Journal Trading Post, and um, every so often they run um, events. And the event that they had for this month, or one of them, was for 12 gifts of Christmas. Um, and we were to exchange gifts with somebody. Um, and we're on day five, um, which I have right here. Um, so I thought we could open this one together. Um, and I also have some lovely happy mail that I wanted to share with you as well. Um, so I wanted to show you what I got, first of all, from the 12 gifts of Christmas. So day one, um, I received these um, chipboard die cuts in um you know tags and labels frames um swirly shapes that kind of thing um and these photo corners which are nice and glittery which i really love sorry about the shiny plastic i just don't want to take them all out and get them everywhere <laughs> so that was day one and um i forgot to mention this is from holly um and i believe her youtube channel is two magpies treasures it's something like that i will link it down below um, but she's from the group. Um, I met her through the group, obviously, and um, yeah, she's a lovely, lovely lady. So I want to, to thank her very much for, for all these bits. Um, so what was day two? I have to try and remember now. Um, so I believe day two was this one. Um, so I've got these um, heart, fabric heart, felt heart, fabric heart um, little pegs, which I thought were really cute. Um, and I'm wondering... So I'm not sure if I would use the pegs themselves, but I'm wondering whether I can take the hearts off because they were super cute. And um, or I'll use them as Christmas card holder thing, um, something like that. Um, and then I also received uh, in day two this um, bookmark, which has got bamboo and pelicans on it. 
and I really like that. I love the gold and the packaging is behind. I can see the packaging. <laughs> it's really nice. So I'll be using that. Um, and day three, I've got some uh, double-sided sticky tape. Um, you know, this red one where you can actually see it and some scotch glue. I've never used scotch, um, but I have seen lots of people using this one. So I'm excited for that to give that a go. See how it um, compares with uh, my Yoohoo stick, which I normally have been using. Um, and then day four yesterday was these. Um, so I love these so much. So that these are um, 3D butterfly stickers and they've got a slight sparkle to them. Can you see? I'm not sure if you can see the 3D kind of effect. It's kind of cool, right? I love those. Always use butterflies, as you've just seen. Um, and I got these rosette embellishments, which I also love. They're kind of um, shabby chic and vintage. Um, it says, you know, butterfly one, pearls, flowers, some more sort of pearly ones and uh, like vintage floral. And these would look so great on the cover of a journal. So I'm really excited about those. And we're on day five. Now I'm doing that thing where you want to squeeze it, try and guess what's inside. So um, I hope you don't mind joining me to, to open this one up. So I'm going to do that. And uh, <laughs> we're all doing that thing where we're trying very hard to try and conserve the paper. Sorry about the noise. Um, as best we can, aren't we? Oh, I see something. You know what? I see something that is really fitting for this video. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess? Can we guess? I can't open it. I'm trying so hard. There we go. Oh, I had to rip it. I had to rip it. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is so fitting for this video. Playing cards. <laughs> How awesome. Thank you very much, Holly. I will absolutely love using these. Um, and they're a different uh, pattern on the back from what I have been using. So uh, for those of you who know, I have tons of playing cards as, you know, that's why I was making the specimen cards. Um, but I don't have any with the red back, so that's kind of cool. So thanks very much, Holly. I'll definitely, definitely love using those. Love an altered playing card. So that is my um, 12 gifts of Christmas that I received from the lovely Holly. So thank you so much. Um, and I also wanted to share with you, um, I received some happy mail. Now, so a confession, I received this um, a few weeks ago and I've been meaning to do one of my show and tell Sunday videos and I just... I have not had the time, so um, I'm tacking it on to the back, back end of this now, um, really just to make sure that I actually share it with you guys, so <laughs> I've been really wanting to. Everything is still as it was. Um, and so this comes from the, the wonderful Tanya from Tatty Treasure, so thanks again Tanya, I, I really appreciate it. Um, so she sent me a, a lovely Christmas card, which is downstairs hanging up, um, and it's a nice big size, um, which I can use to make a journal next year, and inside was... Some lovely bits from her shop. So, are you excited? I bet you are. Let's have a look inside. Okay, so of course we have one of her damask bags. Um, if you've watched her channel you've seen her use these a lot and it's gorgeous. Love, love, love the pattern. And I'm so excited because she sent me a selection of envelopes from her shop. And um, I don't think Tanya will know this. Um, because I actually ordered something from her shop, um, oh gosh, I think it was in August or September and it was before Tanya and I ever actually talked or got talking or she ever even knew who I was or heard about me. Um, so I actually bought some um, an embellishment pack and also um, some uh, file folders from her shop because I've been trying to gear myself up to do an altered file folder using her tutorials. So for those of you who've not come across her channel, I can't believe that for a second, but if you haven't, she does a lot of altered file folders and she's like the queen of it. Um, she makes them amazing. So um, I want to follow her tutorials to try and do one. So I actually bought some craft file folders from her shop. She sells them in packs of, um, is it packs of five? It's either three or five, it's something like that. Um, so all of these envelopes, um, and she didn't know this, I don't think, are gonna go into that file folder and, um, or even a couple of file folders, we'll see. So anyway, back to the, the happy mail. So um, I've got this craft envelope with the policy closure, um, lovely silver eyelets there, so perfect for altered file folders. Um, and I love these. Um, I commented on these, um, I can't remember where, which shop she got these from, um, but I just loved them. They look like 
on the camera and at first glance they look like faux, like some kind of leather. They're not, they're paper, um, but they're, they're, they're fantastic. I really like those. So uh, two different sizes, big and small, mini and big. Another damask bag in a smaller size, 4x6 for this one, and the other one is 5x7? 6x9. So two damask bags. Love it. I love the mini size, actually. Um, I really like the mini size. Um, so we've got that. Um, a paper bag, which I'm really excited about because there's been a few things that I've wanted to do with paper bags, and I just I didn't have any. Because this kind of stuff, you have to buy it in bulk of like 100 or 200 at a time and I'm not being funny like as much as I love crafting I can't make that many things in journals um so it's really nice just to have a selection of bits um we've got this envelope in a beautiful it's like forest forest green and it's got a really lovely I don't know if you can see nice texture on it almost like linen but could be linen paper feels like it or something like that anyway um, library pocket and card. Can't wait to alter those up and start collaging on them and stuff. And I just adore these. These are so, so up my street. It's unreal. Um, they're vellum envelopes and I, they look printed. Um, I think that they, you know, they must be printed. I'm sure Tanya will, <laughs> will tell me if I'm wrong. Um, but aren't they gorgeous? I mean, those patterns, pink flowers and the purple leaves and things. I just love those. Really love them perfect for some I actually have a pink journal and a purple journal that I've I've part started them both so <laughs> eventually they will be used for those and a uh, a plain uh, vellum envelope so isn't that lovely thank you so much Tanya I really appreciate that so um a lot of these things are in her shop um I think she buys um you know envelopes and things in bulk so that um she can put up like mixed packs of envelopes and things um for those of us who, you know, we don't want to buy things in bulk, we just want a selection of things, um, her shop is, is great for that um, if you're looking for those kinds of things. So that's that. Um, so thanks again, Tanya. I really, really appreciate that. Um, and I'm really excited to use them. As I say, an altered file folder is in my future. I just don't know when. Um, it depends when I feel brave enough to do it because it does look, you know, it, it is an involved process, but um, I, I really would like to give one a go. Um, and thank you again, Holly, for my fabulous 12 gifts. And ah, oh, I just love that I waited to, to do day five on camera because how fitting is it that we had this playing cards? Love it. Anyway, I will leave it there. Um, I think we'll call that a video. I'm sorry if this is like an hour long video. I have no idea. We'll see when we actually get to, to publishing it. Um, as always, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Um, and before I go, um, I don't know how many of you are still watching this, but I did make a promise to Jane. Jane, if you're watching, um, she reminded me, um, so for those of you who watched my Q&A video, thank you so much um, for all your lovely comments saying that it was nice to meet me. Um, I'm so glad that you enjoyed it because it was nerve wracking um, showing my face, <laughs> showing the woman behind the hands. Um, but I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. It was um, it was a real pleasure to, to you know read your comments and I'm so glad that you liked um, hearing my story and, and seeing me and meeting me a, a bit more properly. That's bad English, isn't it? But you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, but anyway, um, as, um, yeah, as I was saying, Jane, um, kindly reminded me in the comments that I didn't tell you what Mahalo was all about. Why is my channel called House of Mahalo? Where did Mahalo come from? What does it mean? And, and all of that. So for those of you still watching, hello, <laughs> thank you so much. Love you guys. Um, uh, I'm going to tell you now. So, mahalo, it's a Hawaiian word, and it's um, it, you use it as a thank you, but it also has a deeper meaning. A lot of Hawaiian words do. Um, so, mahalo is it's thank you, but it's also um, gratitude, gratefulness, thankfulness, and that general feeling that you get of being grateful for something. Um, and when I think about what I'm grateful for and thankful for, it's actually this safe, loving, happy home that I've built with my husband um, and, of course, our dog, Kai. Um, and the reason I chose a Hawaiian word, I knew that it was going to be a Hawaiian word. And it's because Hawaii as, is actually the reason why I have a travel blog. 
Um, so for those of you who don't know, I do have a travel blog that I work on um, as my main job and I'm doing the junk journal stuff as a, you know, an aside to that. Um, and anyway, um, I chose a Hawaiian word because Hawaii was the whole reason I started the travel blog. Um, so basically, we, my husband and I, boyfriend at the time, we went off to Hawaii together. It was our first long haul trip and um, we loved it. Honestly, the most beautiful place you can imagine. If you've been, I'm sure you'll agree with me. If you haven't been, you really must. It's my, it, it's got to be our favourite place just ever. Um, and, we, you know, we've often joked about retiring, retiring there one day, to be honest. Um, don't know if that will ever happen, but you never know. Um, but anyway, yeah, and we came back from the trip and I literally just wanted to tell everyone that I could possibly get my hands on about how amazing Hawaii is and that you really must visit and it's just this paradise place. Um, and I started a travel blog within about a month of us coming back. And, you know, we're five, five years on. I think we're five years on now, maybe six, something like that. And um, obviously the travel blog is now my, you know, m the main part of my business. Um, it's bringing in my, my full-time income, even despite the pandemic. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> um, thankfully. Um, but um, yeah, and so that is why Mahalo. I was thinking about what is it that I'm grateful for and thankful for, because I wanted House of Mahalo to be this, um, you know, this positive, this positive place. Um, you know, for those of you who watched my, my um, you know, getting to know me type of video, you'll know that House of Mahalo started as something very, very different in the beginning. Um, but I still wanted it to be this this positive place, this welcoming place, and this place that you can come along and, and think, what is it I'm thankful for? And in this case, it's this um, this home. Um, so that's that. And then, of course, Hawaii is the, the travel connection. And yeah, I, I, I owe a lot to Hawaii. Um, I owe a lot to my husband as well, but I owe a lot to Hawaii in terms of actually getting me to this point in my life. Um, and yeah, so that's why that's why House of Mahalo. Um, I hope that um, I hope that clears things up. Um, and whilst we're on the subject, um, Hawaii is obviously you know it becomes a bigger part of our lives um, because of all that. Our dog Kai is his name is Hawaiian. So for those of you who don't know, Kai is um, Hawaiian for sea or ocean. Um, and so our lovely rough collie Kai. Hopefully, if you've been in the Tatty Treasure and Friends Facebook group, you'll have seen a <laughs> picture of him. Uh, love him to bits. Beautiful rough collie. Um, he has just turned four, four years old. Um, actually, only last week, a few days ago. Um, and yeah, his name is Hawaiian, so there you go. <laughs> I'm going to stop waffling now. I'm doing it all the time, but I just love talking. Um, and I really, really, really appreciate you guys being there, listening to me, talking to me as well. Um, and, you know, I hope that you like what you're what you're seeing on my channel. Um, so I'm off now. Um, I have got lots more that I need to do today, including <gasps> some more videos. How exciting. Um, I need to do... Um, well, I'm basically doing various projects at the moment, um, which I'm hoping to share with you. I will give you a sneak peek once again. For those of you still watching, you are lucky, lucky, lucky devils because I am going to show you what I've been working on. Now, it is very much a work in progress, so bear with me. But I've started making a winter-themed journal. And would you believe that this journal cover is primarily made from sweetie wrappers and I love it um, obviously yeah it's not done <laughs> it's absolutely not done but I started working on it I have videoed the process and I'm going to finish it off on camera and then come back and show you um, you know how I've done it and everything um, again much like today it was one of those ideas I had in my head one of these many many experiments that I love 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 doing and uh, I'm really happy with how it's turning out. So um, that will be, you know, a video coming up soon. I just need to finish off the cover and then obviously I can show you the whole the whole thing together um, in case you want to save your sweetie wrappers this Christmas. Um, and then I've also got some uh, projects ready for January that I'm going to be doing. Um, so uh, again, for those of you who don't know, and I suppose this has kind of turned into a show and tell video, so sorry about that. Um, but that for those of you who don't know, um, I'm hosting the January challenge for Tatty Treasure and Friends Facebook group. And I believe we're calling it Finishing the Unfinished. 
How mysterious does that sound? Um, no, love the title. And um, it's all about finishing up your projects that you've part started or maybe you've printed a kit and you've never got around to using it. Maybe you've gathered up some supplies specifically for a, uh, you know, a particular project, never used them in that project. Now's the time to do it. Let's start the year off strong. And um, I'm really excited for some various things. I'm not going to tell you about those though. You'll have to wait and see. Um, but I'm sure, I'm sure I will share you some sneak peeks um, closer to the time. I think that's it. I think that's everything I could possibly show and tell you today. So as always, thanks so much for joining me. Um, a pleasure to have you here. Really, really appreciate you guys um, so much. And um, if I don't talk to you before, I'm sure I will, because I'm pretty sure I'll have more videos go out in the next you know, week or so. But if I don't, or if you don't watch, um, I, I, I Merry Christmas to all of you, really, genuinely. Um, I hope you have some wonderful Christmases. I know things are a bit tricky these days, um, but stay positive. Um, you know where I am if you ever need to have just a chat. Um, please come find me. Um, I'm, I'm always happy to have a chat with you guys. Um, and, you know, I hope that my channel can keep being this positive, upbeat, um, hopefully helpful <laughs> place for you to come and just while away in an hour or two. Um, all right, I really am going now. Thank you. Bye-bye now.